is National Sisters Day. We know that not all biological sisters get along, and some of us don't even have a sister. Sometimes you have a female friend who feels more like a sister than a friend. Blanca Cobb, who has a master's degree in psychology, and I are talking this morning about these relationships. So Blanca, what is it about a female friend that can feel more like a sister? It really depends on the emotional connection that you have with your female friend, particularly if she's there for you during hard times, during struggles, perhaps your personality sync, which means you're more compatible. You just have fun. You feel like you can really be yourself and relax and just talk about anything. I've been finding myself to do this with my friends recently, like, oh, you're like a sister. I love it. Well, what seems to get in the way of bonding with a biological sister that doesn't seem to happen with a female friend? Many times there's this long history of problems from when you're growing up, whether you feel like your sister is judgmental or really understands you or gets you or even tries to understand where you're coming from or what's going on in your life. And many times also it has to do with unresolved problems and they just seem to fester and come up again whenever you're around each other. And what can you do to strengthen the bond with your biological sister? If you want a stronger relationship with your sister, you just it's a moment of really being honest with yourself and saying, hey, what is the issue? What is the problem or problems that we're having? How can we fix this? And then invite her into a conversation and say, hey, this is what I'm noticing. This is what I would like to see happen. I want a better connection with you. How can we do that? So you really want it to be more collegial in that sense. Then you want to spend time together, get to know each other. What are what does she like? What doesn't she like? What makes her laugh? What makes her sad? You really want to get to know somebody on that level. And then you have to appreciate her for who she is, not for who you wish she was. And then if you need to have any type of boundary in order to have a healthy relationship moving forward, then make sure that you put one in place for both of you. Thank you, Blanca. This is great advice. Whether you have a sister or you don't have that sister, but a friend, this is something you can continue talking with Blanca on her Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, body language expert.